Hunters, this is phase one of the haunted house that we're going to do right here actually. We're going to set it up right in front of the house. And so since this is nice and open with my car out of the way, I thought we'd lay out the pieces of what we do have. The windows from the Harry Potter haunt, one of the doors, and then these miscellaneous panels that I have that will shape up the first and second story. I know it doesn't look like much. Let's see if I can pull back a little bit so you can see. But this is the inspiration, uh, not this little picture, but this one right here. And so we're gonna have two stories with the pop-out awning in the front and then the nice uh, pointed steeple in the at the top. And so my husband just ran to Home Depot to get some 2x4s. We're going to brace it. Here's his little drawing on the back. Uh, let's see. Eh, I could move this way. Oh no, it's this way. Sorry. There we go. It's braced in the back like that, and then that's kind of circle drawn. That's going to be um, the bottom of the 4x4 that I normally do with the, with the uh, sandbags, holding it down. So... And then I was testing some colors. I'm gonna go with a, I kind of like this, but I'm just thinking this is gonna be a little too dark. So I have like a lighter violety kind of color for the house. I have a dark purple, almost that exact purple for the little awnings and roof. And then I have a green, not neon green like that, but kind of like a darker green like that for like the trim. And then I have a 4x6 that's actually scrap that I can use for the base here. Uh, and then um, we're not going to do this back part here. Just the front of it. And then I have an idea for the, the little railing at the top there for the, um, the roof. So I just had this huge piece of foam that I cut to shape at the top of the door. And then I have the, um, actually that one's the top of the door, this short one here. So what I need to do is I need to draw this part here. And I have some 4x4s four for the columns. I'm going to draw that out of foam and cut it. It should be pretty easy. And then the top one here I really like. I love this pointed thing here. So we're going to do that with this piece, which would be nice and tall. So anyway, that's what we've got. We're not going to use that door. That door was just a little too big. We're going to go with this one. I'm going to flip it over and it has the, the doorknob. So that's all ready to go. We're going to slice these windows in half. And we're going to finish it off in the frame. So they're going to be narrow windows. And that's where the characters are going to be popping out on. So when my husband gets back, he's going to slap this thing together. And then I can paint it the bottom story first and then the top story and then we will have our start of our haunted house very very cool okay more to come i found a blacksmith and it gave me three iron swords mm -hmm. you helping daddy yeah yeah i just want to brainstorm repairing procedures oh, we got the brace going on yep just like that, we have a facade. Thanks to hubby. And some more wood. The windows in there. There's a door. Stick on later. I'm gonna paint this guy. Hey Drake, I want you to show. Drake, I want you to tell the hunters what you're working on. Your own little project. Okay, we're working on stilts. We're gonna make some stilts. Mm, yeah, that's cool. So what have you done so far? So we um, made all the measurements. Now we just have to cut them and put them together with some screws. Okay, are we using screws or let's look at the rest of it. We're using scrolls and screws and bolts. And I think we're using bolts and wing nuts. Oh, okay. 
Okay, our braces and this is steps, and we've got the the legs of it. Are you helping Daddy with the haunted house? Yes. All right, cool. Okay, here we are with the haunted house parts. Nearly done. There's the top section, or I should say the top two sections of the second story. And here's the bottom story in two pieces. We did that on purpose. And so now I'm just getting some paint on it. And you can kind of see the changes that I made. I put the window in the middle. I'm going to have a, a, a cute idea over there to maybe attach a ghost or something, comp them off of it. Um, and I haven't cut the foam pieces with the pop-out uh, little awnings, but I'll do that soon. That's a foam cut that I got to do. But I'm definitely at a paint stage, so I'm going to be painting this up and uh, doing some details on that to make it look like shingles and planks, and then we'll go from there. Hey, haunters, on this nice sunny day, you can see our progress here. Got a lot of the haunted house painted up. All the windows have the edging painting. The bottom kind of foundation is painted a nice brown. And so what's left is the main house. There's some horizontal lines that I need to sketch out and paint. And then the roof of the second and the top story, it's in the shade, can't see it too well, but that one needs the shingles, kind of the round shingles, and I got an idea on how to do that fairly quickly. I'm going to use a stencil and trace that and then paint that and give it some some details. And so the arches I have not done yet, but the painting's almost done, and I need to wrap this up because it's currently blocking my car. I can't get my car into my driveway. So all these pieces have to be painted and put away. Here's our other project. Check it out. It's the mystery machine. Isn't it cute? We cut it out out of a very large piece of plywood and I got it propped it up. My sweet husband put this together in a couple hours. I had to sketch it and then he kind of used a jigsaw to cut it around and got it mounted up on some 4x4s. And so what's left is we're going to paint and put the picture on it, obviously. I'm gonna have the boys help me with that because this is a pretty beat up piece. So I'm gonna have to kind of use some putty to fill in these holes. And uh, it's dirty too, God, it's dirty. I'm gonna clean it off and then we're gonna do like a layer of white paint and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the put the colors on. I gotta find all these colors. I, I have most of the colors, but the, you know, pretty, like pastel -y colors. I don't know if I've got all those. I hope so. I think I do. And then I can put the uh, put them all on and do the design up for the mystery machine. So I'm excited. We are moving along. I would love to get this haunt done sooner than later. So more updates soon. We got some work to do now.